What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pursue the Brew. I am guilty as charged. It's been a little bit. I'll admit, I just got behind on life. A little bit, uh, just burnout, a lot of things just in my regular job and stuff, but at the end of the day, we're back. We're gonna drink some beer. I'm gonna keep these a little bit shorter just to make them easier to edit, put more content out there, and we're just gonna do more, we're gonna drink more beer, we're gonna review stuff together. So. Here's what we got going on today. I am kicking off the summer of IPAs. My goal this year is to drink at least 100 IPA beers. That's right, 100 over the next four or five months and I'm gonna find the best IPA I can find because it's my favorite kind of beer, and when you walk down any beer aisle of a grocery store, a liquor store, there's a lot of IPAs. So, quick bullet point checklist on what makes an IPA. We're looking at high hop, you know, the IBUs, the bitterness units, those are gonna be high. We're looking, for me personally, I want citrus flavors. I want, you know, I don't need a lot of alcohol, but typically, IPAs are gonna have them, double IPAs are gonna have even more, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna sip things, we're gonna take it slow, but here we go. It's the summer of IPAs 2022, and I'm kicking it off with a Missouri beer. I have had this beer before, this isn't a blind test, but The Calling from Boulevard. One malt, eight hops, boundless determination, 8.5% alcohol, so it is up there, and 75 IBUs. So this is, uh, you know, this says the legend of the calling. The calling is the undeniable IPA we were driven to make. It's our tribute to like-minded dreamers, adventurous spirits, and glass half full optimists. Heed your call and enjoy. I'm back to making videos. I'm heeding my call and we're gonna try the calling. So here we go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the head on this beer. We're gonna look at the color. So here we go, you got a nice golden color. Definitely there's a little bit of hazy, but it's not that hazy. So we're not, you know, that's a really good looking beer on that little bit that I poured. It's got a nice head on it. So here we go, we're gonna sniff it first. I know this is, you know, super snobby, but. Oh, it's got the citrus. I do, oh, I, I remember that from when I had it before. A Lot of citrus there. So what this does when you swirl your beer around, it releases those bubbles. You can see the head kind of reforming and that just gives you, mm, you gotta smell it. The more you smell, the more you're gonna be able to pick out individual flavors. So that's why I like smelling my beer a lot before I give it that first taste. So here we go. All right, so first thing. A lot of double IPAs, they're just trying to kick you in the face with the hops. They just wanna be as bitter as possible. That's not my favorite thing. I like hops, I like bitterness, I like IPAs. It's, it's part of why I like them. But I don't wanna just be kicked in the face. This is doing a really good job of keeping it smooth. That's really good. That is really smooth, especially for a double. I mean. I'd throw that up there with Space Camper. I mean, it's just kind of like, it's just a slightly more bitter Space Camper. So if you've had that one, which is more readily available, is a little bit more established, this just has a little bit more of the IBU hit. You can tell that. A little bit more alcohol. The color is really kind of close, I think, to Space Camper. Maybe it's a little bit darker, but here, whereas we drink a lot, it gets a little lighter, but... Pour a little bit more in here. Fill this one up a little bit more so we can get a little bit more of that color. Look at the, the bubbles rising up. The head on it is great. So as we hit these beers over the summer, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a scoring scale. This is very fluid. I might change it halfway through or something. But on a scale of hops, we're gonna hit on color, bitterness, citrusiness, and overall, so just how much do we like these, this beer based on those kind of categories that, you know, I'm a, kind of a novice at this tasting thing, but those are the things I know that I'm looking for as I judge an IPA. So here we go on the calling color. I'm gonna go, I think I gotta go four here. I don't know what it is. I wish it was a, maybe a little bit lighter. 
or darker i don't know but this is my video and you can disagree in the comments but i'm gonna go four out of five hops on the color on citrusiness i'm gonna go three 3.5 i'm gonna go 3.5 because i can tell that it's citrusy i can i can sense it and i love it and i that's what i'm looking for i wish there was one bold citrusy flavor that kind of stood out hop on bitterness and hop flavor kind of same thing they, they have eight hops in this so it's gonna be hard for one to stand out but the way they balance the bitterness with how smooth it is i think i'm gonna go four four and a quarter four and a half i'm feeling generous my first video back after a break so Four and a half hops for the bitterness units, so that's really good. Overall, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four out of five hops. Four out of five hops for this beer. This is a fantastic beer. Give it a try. It's from Boulevard. I really recommend it. I hope I hope you appreciate this video. I'm glad to be back making videos again. Um, follow me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Get in the comments and let me know what IPAs I need to try this summer. The goal again, 100 IPAs this summer at least. This is number one. Some I'm going to have before. I hope to find a lot of new ones. So enjoy it. Have a good week. Everybody, cheers. We'll see you next time on Pursue the Brew.